In a matter of about 24 hours, the Indianapolis Colts 2021 season went from, I don't know exactly what we're doing here, to having two of their most important pieces back for this season sooner than expected and locking up the brain trust in Frank Reich and Chris Ballard long term for this organization. Joining me now from Locked On Colts, Evan Sidery and, and Evan. I think the extensions are are more expected than the injury news, so let's start there. We went from, hey, this is going to be Jacob Eason's team indefinitely to now Carson Wentz and Quentin Nelson could be back for week one. What does that change mean for this Colts team? It's a huge swing of momentum in the positive direction for the Colts. They've been in a position over the last couple of weeks where it's just been injury after injury. Carson Wentz in the second day of camp, Quentin Nelson on the third day of camp. You saw that occur with his foot injury, the exact same one as Carson Wentz. So quite honestly, it was a situation where the Colts really had to kind of weather the storm a little bit. You had Sam Ellinger and Jacob Eason get into a camp battle for the quarterback spot. Luckily, if Carson Wentz does return week one and Quentin Nelson, who stabilized the offensive line for them, it's a situation where, honestly, the Colts have a chance in the first few weeks of the season where beforehand, I didn't know if they really had a shot. You have the Seahawks. You also have the Rams for the first two games of the season and the Tennessee Titans. So I think that's a really tough first three weeks. Yeah, on top of that, the Miami Dolphins and the Baltimore Ravens. Maybe the Colts can split those games now instead of being 1-4, and four, potentially 0-5, and five, when you have Wentz and Nelson back in the fold. I thought the timing of all of this was particularly interesting as well because Chris Ballard, he makes the Carson Wentz straight. Frank Reich is the guy pushing to say, hey, I, I believe in Carson Wentz. And even though he's injured at this time, and we, we don't know what the future is, they reach these long-term extensions with these two guys. Is it to say, we believe in this path forward? Am I am I reading too much into this? Because I, I feel like this is a this is a vote of confidence to say, whatever happens, we're, you are our guys and we believe in this path for our football team. Absolutely, yeah. I definitely agree with that sentiment because just quite honestly, from what we saw before in the Ryan Grigson era, where there's just a lack of talent around Andrew Luck, and that's one of the main reasons why Andrew Luck retired in the first place, just the lack of talent, the lack of resources put in the offensive line. He was hit over 50 times almost every single season. And the one time he comes back from his shoulder surgery after the 2017 season, he has Quentin Nelson in front of him, he has Andy Costanzo, one of the most underrated left tackles in the NFL, and he only gets touched 20 times in the whole season. Unfortunately, Andrew Luck suffers an injury in training camp, and he forces himself to retire after that because he didn't want to go through that process. But the Colts and Chris Bowden and Frank Reich have this thing really in the right system right now. You have over 17 players I kept track of, 19 if you include the Forrest Buckner and Carson Wentz, who were used with draft capital, we're going to be playing huge roles for this Colts team in the 2021 season. That's a complete pull opposite of what it was before in the Andrew Luck era. So, so much young talent and resource put into this thing. And the Colts are still very young. They're one of the youngest rosters in the NFL. I think most of their core on defense is under 26 years old. So I think a lot of this has the chance to be really special about a couple years down the line. Chris Bauer did mention that the window is just now opening for a Super Bowl run. So I think the Colts are thinking two to three years down the road than they are right now. So that's the thing with the Colts where, honestly, it feels like it's going to be a really good thing. And getting them under contract until 2026, that's a huge win for this organization. 